Hello, hello, hello. We are live. We are live. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Um, part of the Fierce Fearless Sisterhood group. I'm so excited tonight. We have an amazing guest with us here tonight. We have Miss Dawn Adams. Dawn and I, I don't even know. Should we even be like, <laughs> we've been friends <laughs> for, been for a while. Yes, for a, while. <laughs> a few years. <laughs> yeah, just a few, just a tad. Um, and so when she told me about this idea of sis, you good, and just really wanting to, you know, be a part of this self care women's movement or women's self care movement, I just thought it was the best. One of the best ideas, sis, you good. So anyway, I'm going to let her tell us a little bit about herself um, and tell us about what sis, you good is and, you know, why you wanted to start this movement. So welcome, everyone. Thank you, Dawn, for being a part of this live. Welcome. Hi. So you ready for me to just. Yeah. All yeah, right. give us, let us know a little bit about yourself, uh, right. what you do, you know, tell us about Sis You Good and why you wanted to start it. Okay. Well, I am a um, self-employed small business owner, consultant uh, to business owners, uh, life coach. <laughs> I do a lot of things. I play a lot of hats and have for many years. Uh, I also do a lot of corporate consulting as well. And um I love what I do. It is my passion. Uh, I kind of stumbled upon it uh, many years ago and had a woman uh, encourage me, uh, a sister who encouraged me along the way. Uh, she was kind of my my guiding light and um, it put a fire in me to, to try to be a guiding light for other women like myself. Um, Sis You Good came about... Uh, I think it, it's, well, let's see, the spark was lit several years mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. um, it came out of conversations. It came out of my experiences in corporate America, um, just my experiences in general as a Black woman in this culture. And I started feeling some things that I didn't have really an outlet um, to mm -hmm. express or yeah. what I envisioned as support. Um, I wanted, I was struggling with some microaggressions in the workplace. Um, mm -hmm. Relationships weren't where I thought they should be. And there were some dynamics there that didn't contribute positively to my life. Um, and I wanted a source to go to, to say, hey, you know what? I got you. I got your back. Um, and I have sisters. I have yeah. amazing friends. Angela is one of those. But it, it wasn't cohesive. It was, we're all living our lives, right? And I right. wanted to have a space to go to where, you know what, if I'm talking to you and I see there's something there, I wanted somebody to say to me, hey, sis, you good? And and stay mm -hmm. there long enough for me to answer. And, right. And yeah. give a real honest answer. Yeah. Yes, to exactly. that. I wanted mm -hmm. to be able to give the real answer and not that pat answer. Oh, I'm I'm blessed and highly favored and keep tripping, <laughs> tr tracking on, you know. <laughs> right. And right. so that's okay. kind of where it came Buggling. out of the idea of it. And then uh, a little while ago, uh, a little over a year ago, in the midst of COVID, we were all doing our, you know, our Zoom meetings and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, started having conversations with friends. And as I was expressing what I was experiencing, they were coming back with me with, yes, I'm feeling the same thing. That's what I want. That's what I need. And so um, a year ago, almost to the day, <laughs> um, okay. I had the conversation. I was like, hey, um, I want to do this. Who's in it with me? And I had five amazing women who said, we're there, sis. We got you. We're going to do this together. So. I love that. I love that so much. Um, I love how you mentioned because I know that um, it says, sis, you good. And mm -hmm. 
a lot of, you know, African-American vernacular, we refer to each other as sis, you know, yes. or bro, or what, you know, uh-huh. and I know that that's becoming widespread, but that's uh-huh. really how we connect with one another. And uh-huh. so um, you and I both have a wide range of circle of friends and women in our corner, corner of all, you know, ethnic backgrounds, cultures. Yes. Um, so why would you tailor or cater this specifically to African-American women? The the honest answer is that I feel um, having lived this American experience and it has not, I, I will say, it hasn't been this horrific experience, right? I've had a good life, a great life. However, yeah. there have been experiences that have changed my view of myself and mm-hmm. the country and the culture, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. And I know that experience, those experiences were specifically tied to the fact that I am a black woman. Right. And there are conversations that we need to have as black women that we need to have in a psychologically safe space mm-hmm. that we can have that conversation. You know, we, the mm-hmm. as sis, we can look at each other, the, the you know, the eye contact, right. and we know exactly, right. you know, we're in agreement with mm-hmm. whatever's going on, right? But we need to be yeah. able to put our voices to it in a space yeah. where we're not having to explain the feelings. Mm-hmm. We already know mm-hmm. what they are, right? We don't have right. to explain or defend it. Defend it, be questioned by it, right. yes. Yeah. We can just be, right? We can just right. be. And, and be safe in that space. So yeah. that's that's yeah. why the focus on- I love that. And I feel yeah. like, yeah, I really love that. And I love your transparency about that because, um, you know, let's be honest, there are spaces that um, if we were to walk into, we'd be the only one there, you know, majority, yes. you know, a Caucasian space mm-hmm. and that's fine. And so just as, as someone who, you know, is the the founder of this group, Fierce Village Sisterhood, um, I feel safe saying that I, I welcome all sisters of all races into this mm-hmm. group, but there are just certain um, events and organizations that are tailored towards it. And I love that this one is, and it doesn't like put anybody else down. No. There's no reason for anyone else that is non-Black to feel excluded. Um, I plan to put on an event that welcomes all races, but this specific one is tailored towards African American uh, women, and it's because, um, again, like you, you know, we've had those microaggressions where we know that there is racism, or we know that there's just some sort of exclusion, and yes. even if we were to tell our white counterparts, it's like, mm-hmm. are you sure that's racism? Right. Exactly. Well, I think you're looking at it the wrong way. It's like. I don't want to be, you know, I am constantly in a world where I'm having to defend End. who I am, yes. why I think the way I do, or why I will caution myself in certain situations. And I, yes. and there are just certain spaces we want to be able to let our hair down and have those real conversations without, like you said, defending why we yes. really, we, um, yeah. you know, we're treated a certain way or exactly. excluded from a certain thing. Yes. And so um, anyway, I just love that. And I wanted to kind of you know, lead with that before we dig even deeper with this. And so, and I just this doesn't exclude so, everyone. Oh, it doesn't ahead. exclude anyone. Um, we just, uh, to your point, the conversations, I'm tired or I, I became tired of editing mm-hmm. myself. And yeah. I want a space where yeah. I can just say things like I need to say them um, and not in, not offending anyone, like you said, not excluding anyone, but including yeah ourselves because yeah. i don't think we've yeah. had a space like that mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. us right because even if you think about it anyone if you're going through um if you're going into a space where you need healing in a certain mm-hmm. situation you do not uh need to be in a space where there are others who will still um i don't want to say pose a threat but will still uh not fully understand your transparency, right. not fully understand, you know, your hurts, your pains. Pain. So right. just like with therapy, you you need a safe space. Safe. And yes. so I love that this retreat is a safe space for that. So 
Anyway, I'm excited about it. And I love how you say, sis, you good? Yes. Sis. Sis. You good. You good. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. I just, I just thought that was so clever. Okay, so let's dive in. So okay. with this women's self-care movement, we're kicking off Women's History Month this month. Yes. Let's talk about self-care before we get to the retreat that you're hosting. Um, can you define for us in your own words what you feel is self-care, what you feel and why you feel it's important? important. OK, so for me, self-care, when I was younger, um, it was getting my nails done, getting my hair done, you know, the makeup, mm -hmm. all of that. Right. That cute little outfit that was, oh, I'm taking care of myself. Uh, as I have matured, I've realized that I'm more than the, and I've always known it, right? But, you know, when you're 20s, that's what you focus on is the external primarily. Uh, but as a mother um, raising a child and now as a grandmother, um, understanding how we grow and mature, I've recognized that I am more, I, I am more. And I have mm -hmm. to take care of all of me. And yes, all of me yes. is my heart, my mind, my spirit, my physical yeah. being. It's everything. Mm -hmm. And I think as a culture, we tend to focus on the external and not the mm -hmm. internal. And I think not focusing on the internal uh, has driven a lot of the, the challenges and the problems we see in society. Um, yeah. And so self-care for me is really taking care of myself holistically. There's mm -hmm. something we say um, in uh, Sis You Good is, are you, are you well? And well stands for wholeness exemplified loving life. And mm. for me, I need to love my life. I love that. Even in the midst of you know chaos, if there's something that's not going well for me, um, mm. I need to be well. And right. that means I love my life regardless of what's going on, I know everything yes. will be okay. Um, yeah. So that that's kind of where I am with self-care. I've just started a journey. Well, I started the journey a while ago, but I'm taking care of my brain, right? Brain yeah. health. We don't ever think about that, right? Right. I right. come from a family that has this a is right. dementia. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that is one of my primary focuses. Right now, mm -hmm. it's taking care of my my mind, my mental, my brain, all of that, um, yes. along with the rest of it. So, right, mm -hmm. I completely agree. I think that, you know, when you first kind of come into your self care journey, it starts more superficial. It starts yes. more materialistic. Like I'm getting that handbag. You know, I'm treating myself. I'm yes. getting. The, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want that whip. I want the car. Mm -hmm. I want the. And it's like. But as you continue to mature and grow, you realize, like, I need some peace of mind. Yes. When it's look at self-care can be ending a relationship. And I don't just mean romantic. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know, friendships that mean, don't work. Right? Friendships that don't work, that aren't serving that aren't us. Contributing value. If it's value. a competition, if it's, yes. yeah, if you're not growing me and stretching me, yeah. you know, um, for the better. Not stretching mm -hmm. my nerves, okay? Right. <laughs> Don't stress me out, but, yes. stretching, but stretching me, know? helping me to grow yes. and become yeah. more of who I was created to be. Right. Right. And right. So that's self care. Of self care is yeah. moving each day towards who you were created to be. Mm, I love that. Um, I even love how you mentioned even our health because, like you said, you know, mental health is a big issue. Um, yes. You know, working your brain because dementia runs in your family. I think of like high blood pressure and yes. um, uh, cholesterol and diabetes runs in my family. So I've been okay. really watching as I age, you know, watching what I eat, making sure that I'm active. Mm -hmm. um, so all of that is self care, sometimes adulting. Yes, self-care, self right? Yes, yes. yes. One of the and things so, I do, um, and it's a simple thing, but I make sure that I laugh every single day. Oh, I love that, yes. You know, if I go and those endorphins laughing, from exactly, laughter. Exactly, exactly. Yes. And I read a study some years ago, um, like five minutes of laughter is like 15 minutes of exercise. So I'd rather I, I get up. Let me <laughs> right. <laughs> like laugh it up, laugh it up, right? I, mean, I like, love I that. Five fifteen or four thirty, three times a week to go work out physically. 
But if I can laugh it out and get the same yes. results, I'd rather be doing that. Yeah, someone says laughing is definitely my medicine. I agree. Like, yes. you know, that's why you need also those friends who will send you those funny memes, yes. right? Yes. Um, and will uh, you know, just be like, girl, this is crazy. You know, just something yes. that you can just really laugh just about. Laugh um, about, you know, yeah. It really, yeah. you know, scientifically uh will you know create endorphins in our brain, endorphins. like our brain yes. synapses response to it. Exactly. So yes, I love yeah. that. I love that. Um and it decreases in cortisol in it our does. bodies. Yes. <laughs> and I've been reading a lot about that, that with our nervous system. From that midsection. <laughs> Okay, yes. Let's just laugh it up and get rid of this muffin top, huh? Yes. <laughs> I love that. That is so awesome. So what are some big and small ways uh, we can um, increase our self-care? Uh, there's so many things. It doesn't, um, like you said, big and small. So big, the big things I say is take care of your health. So mm -hmm. women, go get your, your annual exams done. There, mm -hmm. there are so many women that I've met that don't do it. And mm -hmm. it's like, that's number one, getting those yeah. annual, annual exams, yeah. taking care of yourself physically, your health, um, eating better, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. mean you can't have your, your fried, your deep fried every mm -hmm. now and then. <laughs> right, right. Um, but in moderation. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Throw a few vegetables in there, right? Right. Um, so taking care of your your physical uh, your physical body, um, your mental. So making sure that you're stimulated, that you're having great conversation and dialogue that stimulates your brain uh, with others. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. The meditation. Oh Lord, mm -hmm. meditation. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, quieting your brain, quieting your your mind, quieting yourself physically, and sometimes mm -hmm. just getting in a space and being still. Yeah, you yeah. know, I recently read an article uh, in the New York Times because you know I work in education, um, and I see so many disabilities with like special needs students, but also I'm starting to see a rise in even in adults with being diagnosed with like ADHD, right? Some yes. type of attention deficit, mm -hmm. and it was saying that. We are becoming a society that does not, that is overloading our nervous system yes. mm -hmm. because we are not practicing stillness and quietness. And I just really pondered that because I'm like, yes, think about it. You already spend so many hours at work. You know, our workloads are piling on because there are so many people either being laid off or quitting right. or not working or what have you. And so we're multitasking more than we ever have doing, yes. you know, the job of two or three people. Mm -hmm. And then we turn around and we come home and it's like, okay, the kids and this and, this, you know, yeah. running the yeah. errands. Exactly. And then we take turn to social media in which we want to say it's relaxing us. But it was no. how it really is overstimulating yes. our nervous system. It is. Our mind it's... is seeing images in seconds, like, can... you know, a yes. hundred images in just mm -hmm. like a minute's time. And yep. so we don't realize that we, you know, our eyes are flashing like it's just like. Exactly. We yes. are just mm -hmm. really taking snapshots yes. and it is upping our cortisol levels, our stress hormones. It is upping exactly. our nervous system. And and that's so why a lot of us are like, why can't I concentrate at work? Why can't right. I get this exactly. done? Why can't I do this? Why, is your, why can't you go to sleep at night? There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's because we are not practicing, practicing. Yes. stillness and quietness and meditation. Yes. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, whether you're meditating on the word or you're just, you know, affirmations, yes. you are just, you know, quieting your mind right. and yeah. bringing everything mm -hmm. down. Right. right? Yes. Uh huh. So, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah. It is. It That's really amazing. is. And it, it, the thing about it is it, it's so simple, right? Um, simple. That There's like the self-care movement, kind of the big, it's mm -hmm. really focused on those things that um, aren't moving the needle for us from a health perspective. Uh, well, not, not necessarily. There are the healthcare right. things, but um, from a perspective of um, being still and disconnecting yeah. from everything that's out there, right? Yes. There's so much. It's, um, you know, buy this, buy this, you know, mm -hmm. buy this magic potion, right? Take right. care of yourself, do that. Right. Instead of saying, it's simplicity. Mm -hmm. Taking care of yourself, self-care is simplicity. It doesn't yeah. have to be anything complex at yes. all. 
It, it doesn't. Just be getting yourself a cup of tea, sitting in a corner. Right. And and just let, look, watching the rain. You know, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. about my, my grandparents and, and the things that they used to do. Um, my grandmother used to sit on the back porch with a cup of coffee mm -hmm. and just watch mm -hmm. the birds. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, yeah. I don't see a whole, whole lot of birds in my neighborhood right now, but <laughs> if I could, I would. Right? Yeah. So just looking for the simple things in life. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the, the really big things uh, about self-care is connection. Connecting with people who support and encourage you, mm -hmm. like-minded mm -hmm. folks, right? Yeah. That um, are just there. You know, I can pick up the phone and say, hey, you know what? <sighs> I'm just tired. Or I don't even have to say I'm tired. Right. Just hear that sigh and it's like, hey, girl, mm -hmm. you know what? Yeah, I'll be like, Come girl. Over, you know, or I I'm know. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So those are the things I do. There, I have a long, long right. list and it switches up every now and then. But right. um, I try to I, I try to keep um keep adding new things to my self-care repertoire as well. Yeah. Um, Cause I don't want it to get stale. <laughs> um, yeah. Always try something new. Yeah. I actually have like a jar um, and I keep kind of like dating myself and I keep ideas of like restaurants I want to try or a class I want to take. Cause I'm into art. I'm into gardening. Yeah. I'm into, you know, I love live music. And so mm -hmm. as I see different events going on, I'll put it in a jar and I'll pull it out and I'm like, okay, I'm getting a massage this week or maybe, oh, yeah, that gardening event is happening this week, you know, yeah. or oh, that's right. This band that I've been wanting to see, this jazz uh -huh. band is coming. I'm going to go. So just so many ways you can switch it up. But like for me, I'm a bath girl. So I'll have like my herbs and my yes. oils in there oh, yes. and just like just quiet. Yes. And even I would say as women of faith, you know, I have often have people come to me who will say like, I don't know how to hear God. I don't know how to hear God's voice. Or I don't yeah. know how to like really figure out what I'm supposed to be do about this situation. Mm -hmm. My first thought is, my first thing that I say to them is, when was the last time you got quiet? Mm -hmm. Yes. When was the last time you got yeah. still? Mm -hmm. Or I'll have people who'll say, you know what? I was in the shower and this came to me. Came to me. And I'm yes. like, it's because you were not distracted, not distracted by all these things, yes. right? Happening yeah. in your life. You were by yeah. yourself. You were alone with your own thoughts. Yes. So yes. anyway, yeah, yeah, we really, we really have so to. Um, one of the things I tell folks, so I, I do trainings and workshops. And one of the workshops I do is a personal productivity workshop. And in there, the first line I tell, and it usually throws everybody off. But the first thing I do, I speak a word, I say, Okay, let me just dispel the biggest myth you've learned since you've worked in a cor corporate America. Multitasking is a lie. Okay, our brains aren't designed for multitasking, right? right? The mm -hmm. multitasking that our brains do are I can talk and breathe at the same time. I can walk <laughs> and breathe, right? Right, right. <laughs> you don't mm -hmm. have to think about it. It's automatic. Mm -hmm. That's the multitasking right. that our brains can handle. Um, right. The rest of it, we're just fooling ourselves. Yeah, um, somebody said an absolute lie. Yes, it is. It <laughs> it's is. true. And it's you so hear true. how many uh, folks have said, you know, I give 110%. I give 150%. That's the other lie. You got 100%. And right. if you're giving 100 to something, there's something else that's getting zero. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's another Absolutely. part of self-care. Let's stop lying mm -hmm. to ourselves about yeah. our, our capabilities. We're capable of a lot of things, but we right. have to manage it and balance it in a way yeah. that enhances our lives um, and does not cause detriment to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. All right. We're going to shift because now that we understand what self-care is, we understand its importance and how it helps us physically, emotionally, spiritually, right? Mentally uh, and relationally. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk about this retreat. All right. Sis, you good. This you good. Retreat that's happening in May. Yes. May 19th. That I'm so excited about. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's May yeah. 19th through the 23rd. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, 21st, the 20, what did I say? 23rd? Oh, 21st. Third. Yes. Thank you for, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for correcting <laughs> okay. me, getting me right. May 19th um, through the 21st. Yes. Mm -hmm. 19th through the 21st. Uh, That's a, is that a, 
Friday to Sunday? It's a Friday or? through Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and we are so excited about it. Um, it's in a little town about hour and 45 minutes outside of Dallas, south of Dallas, near yes. Waco. Uh, a beautiful, beautiful event space. Um, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's, a, it's just a <laughs> little paradise, y'all. Yes. Y'all have yes. to see these grounds. Yes. It's beautiful. You it's, feel like you're in another world. You do. Like you're, you really you're far do. away from everything. It's everything. so peaceful. Yes. Um, the space is uh, just inspiring. And I, I told the, the owners when we talked with it, it's like, you know what? You, you created this space for us. Um, mm -hmm. because each room is inspiring there. It's very well appointed mm -hmm. and, um, there are inspirational quotes throughout the spaces, uh, that just align with what we're, we're looking to do while we're there. And so, mm -hmm. um, we have a full agenda. However, it is designed for connection with others and yourself. So yeah. um, we have, uh, we're celebrating one another. We have four workshops that are weaved throughout um, and the workshops are gonna have very specific topics. Um, but we also, um, after each workshop, you're gonna have reflection time to go spend some time and yes. uh, think about what we've discussed in those workshops. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have amazing facilitators. We have not released the information yet. Right. Um, we're kind of holding that tight um, for uh, another month or so. Um, but um, we have, we're gonna have swim time, your self time, connection time, uh, we have some amazing gifts that we're going to be sharing. Um, but most importantly, we want the space to be um, welcoming to everyone where you can come and get what you need from the retreat. Right. right? Yeah. So one of the things we're going to do, I'll just share. So when you come in, we're going to ask you, what is it you want to get from the retreat? Yeah. What is it you want to yeah. take away? take back right. home. Contemplate and, on your why and your purpose yes, for yes. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then our that. job role is to help facilitate that. Um, yes. And so yeah. we're going to have morning prayer walks uh, so that oh, we can yes, connect with our spirit um, and with God. Um, we're going to have a little yoga, some physical stuff. We're even thinking somebody asked, oh, well, can we have some Zumba? So we may even have some Zumba or some <laughs> Afrobeat workouts. You know, you know, we're, right. we're yeah. massaging that piece. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, massages available, um, facials available as well. So you'll be able to take care of kind of the 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 queen, get the queen pampering. Yeah, what with. I love that you have... Uh, real quick, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but one of the things that I wanted to point out is that that you allow that flexibility. It's like yes. there are different activities to do, and mm -hmm. you pick what you know yeah. what, what floats resonates your with boat. You. you know what you're yes. interested in, what resonates mm -hmm. with you. Yes, and attend yeah. that, and then make sure you have that reflection because what is self care if you're not really doing some introspective work? Exactly to really you know reflect and. And begin a practice yes. that deepens deepens you, you know, that inner work. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely, absolutely love yeah. that. Because I've been to retreats where I've had an amazing time. And then I go back home and it's back to what I was doing before. So mm -hmm. our goal is to, to help uh, our guests uh, walk away and carry away with them something that can change their life for the better. Right. Mm -hmm. So they walk out of there thriving, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, transformed. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're really looking for. And uh, we share we we come with every intention to help you do that. But we want everybody to come and join us and and set your own attention of what you want to realize uh, your own transformation. And we're going to we're going to partner with you to do that. Um uh, Angela's made uh, alluded to the yes, I love that. And the sis you did. With you. So uh, when you walk out of there at the end of the um, our last um, event on Sunday, you're gonna walk away, and we're just really we want you to say, "Hey, sis, I'm good." 
right? So we want to know that we have attended to your heart and your mind and your spirit while you're there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that. And I, I look forward to those connections with women and those conversations of transparency. Yes. You know, those conversations of saying, I'm right there with you. I know yes. it's hard. I know it's tough. Or, you know what? I know you go, you're going through a tough season. Mm -hmm. Right here, sis, get everything you can to rejuvenate yourself. Yes. Absorb everything you can so you can go back refreshed, you know, yes. and just really connecting on a deeper level. And, you know, one of the things I love is when you hear um, testimonies of like, um, like another retreat that I went on in New Mexico was like coming away with like a new friend where you're just like, yes. this is my new sis. Like yes. we really yes. connected. We really bonded. Like, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you feel like you've known them for years. And so yes. that's what I look forward to yeah. on, on retreats like this, yeah. where it's like-minded people in search uh, of the same thing and yeah. being able to really, you know, strengthen that sisterhood bond. Yes. Because that. That we really are created when um, I was, talking in a Bible study not long ago, and we we're talking about God's design was forced to be in relationship with one another, right? In relationship with him, absolutely in relationship with one another. And I think we get disconnected yes. from that a lot of times. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yes, that is part of what we want to, uh, well, actually it's part of the design <laughs> of the mm -hmm. retreat, mm -hmm. really is for us to connect with one another, connect mm -hmm. with yourself as well. But mm -hmm. our goal is to stay connected with all of our guests after we leave there on Sunday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, it's not just a, hey, you came, you had a good time. Now we'll see you later. It's right. really staying connected. Um, yes. Because, well, um, there's actually, you guys, a Sis You Good um, Facebook page group. Yes. And we'll give information on that towards the end on the places you can find her on social media. But yes, there's great conversations happening on that page and just connections. And I'm sure this is one of many, um, not only retreats, but just events, you know. Yes. Um, and so I just really pray that it spreads like a wildfire. wildfire. Thank you. Um, I know that also I wanted to mention... Um, Again, we'll give you the link to like where you can go. Um, it's sisyougood.org, right? You yes, can get information about the retreat. Oh, mm -hmm. We'll leave that in the comments. But um, if anyone from the group is watching, if you can put the link in the comments. But um, can you speak on a little bit about the lodging? Because one of the things that I loved about it is that there's there's a variety of ways that yes. you can lodge. There's tiny mm -hmm. homes where you and your, yes. you know, maybe you and some girlfriends can girlfriends come and share a tiny yes. home or a suite. Mm -hmm. And there's payment plans, y'all, because yes. our sis need a payment plan. <laughs> um, yes, but yeah, there's so many options to make yeah. it work for you. Can you speak to yeah. that? Oh, yeah, definitely. So we have on site. So there are hotel size uh, style suites. So there we have kings and queens. Now, I do have to say all of our queen uh, hotel suites are gone. <laughs> okay. Uh, but That's we have, wonderful. People uh, are signing up. Yes. We have plenty of king suites. We have a few king suites left. Um, we have um, the tiny homes, as Angela mentioned. So the tiny homes will accommodate up to three people. So you have your own little, your own little tiny house out there. Um, we have um, what we call the, the executive suite is a casita. Um, so it's like its own mm. little um, house, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. and then, uh, it's like so, a little guest house. Yeah. Yes. Like a little guest house. We have uh, a two bedroom cottage that has a co common living space in the center and two bedrooms on the side. The bedrooms are, both of the bedrooms are Kings. Um, but you can get some other folks in nice. one has a, a queen size Murphy bed, uh, in there. Okay. Um, and so it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then we have the gathering house. So the gathering house is kind of the, the center of everything. And we have some king rooms there. It's more of a shared space. Um, we have some rooms that are four bedroom, uh, four beds in a room. Um, and then we have some private suites within the, the gathering house. So we have five bedrooms in the gathering house. Oh, so, that is nice. Yeah. And we do that have nice. uh, payment plans available. Um, so yeah, so we have, uh, and price, the price points vary based on the accommodation selected. So, um, 
but everyone, regardless of the, the accommodation you choose, gets the same royal treatment. So... Yes. Yeah. All of the, you know, you will sleep in a different way, but all of the activities, <laughs> activities. and the amenities are yeah. available to, to, to everyone. everyone. I love yes. that. And we do, we do have a pool. So we will be having our poolside joy hour. Um, okay. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be <laughs> cutting it up out there and, and having fun at the pool. And yeah. yeah. Oh man. I look forward to it. I cannot wait guys. I hope you, I hope I see you there. I want you to say, yeah. like, I'm from Fierce Feeling Sisterhood. <laughs> I brought my friends. We're all out here. Grab your mom, your aunties, you know, your girlfriends. And mm -hmm. just say, you know, we deserve a weekend getaway. Yes. We deserve a weekend getaway. And, yes. and sign up. Sign up. The rooms are going. So please. You know. I just want to add to. So uh, bring your appetite because the food will be fabulous. Okay, this is not your weekend barbecue type situation. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, I remember we well. spoke earlier about that. There was like a a, a chef, a personal yes. chef yes. that will be on, yes. on site. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yes, so That's amazing. They're gonna feed us well. It's gonna be healthy, but it's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Of course, it has to be healthy. Like we are feeding, right? Yes, for for, for the benefits, benefits, right? Yes. Yes, we're I taking care that. of ourselves. Yep. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah. with it being, we're going to switch gears. Okay. Our last segment talking about this month kicking off Women's History Month. Okay. And I just love that that we have a whole month because, you know, as women, we wear so many hats, right? Yes. We put ourselves last, which is why we need this self-care retreat. Exactly. We put, we put ourselves last on the list. Like even when I say I'm, I'm on the list, I look up and I'm like, I didn't. I didn't make the list today. Uh -huh, right. Uh, <laughs> and so, you know, we really have to, um, you know, take a moment to to, con to celebrate ourselves, right? To yes. celebrate our wins mm -hmm. uh, with ourselves and the women in our communities and in yes. our families. Yes. Um, yeah. oh, so, I'm sorry. Someone has a question. Okay. First, someone says, hey, that sounds wonderful. And is everything included in the price? So everything. So all of the workshops, the activities, um, we have amazing swag that you're going to get um, and um, food. All of that is included. And uh, the but we do have a la carte will be the um, oh, sorry, I have a, a little uh a little, a little friend boy that came <laughs> yeah. in here. So sorry about that. Um, okay. So <laughs> he wants to go to the retreat too, but I told him no. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> My girls do the same thing. They're like, um, I know you need a break sometimes, but I don't understand why you always have to leave us. Because uh, some things are adults. Only, yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How do totally I get a adult. break if I'm still caring for you? Exactly. <laughs> So um, yeah, totally understand. But yeah, yes. go ahead. <laughs> yeah, so uh, your accommodations will cover your food, all of the workshops. Um, like I said, we're going to have amazing swag there. Um, and uh, so the massages and the facials, um, we will have some, uh, they are going to be a la carte. But we do have some promos that will be coming up shortly that you may be able to get them included. Uh, and we do have an amazing um, VIP package that does include uh, either a massage or facial as part mm -hmm. of it. You get to select your, we have some amazing uh, personal and business coaches who are going to be helping facilitate the um, workshops. So you can uh, have as part of that VIP package, you can get uh, a one hour coaching uh, with the coach of your choice awesome. on the topic of your choice. So whether if you needed uh, something, somebody uh, to work with you on relationships or business, career, uh, mm -hmm. whatever that is, we have someone who is extremely experienced in coaching and, and helping others achieve their goals. So we have that like piece that. Mm -hmm, uh, available. So the VIP package, you'll also with the VIP package, you'll receive a luxury bathrobe and slipper set. And y'all, if I'm telling you, I, I got to try on one of these robes. I was Ooh. like, I don't want to take this off. I was sitting there like, oh, 
my I mom, love I, oh, this is gorgeous. Ooh, I can't um, wait. And then we have also we're going to have a, a wine education event there as well. So this is open to anybody who wants to participate. We know we have some folks who prefer not to participate in alcohol, and that's perfectly fine. But we're going to have a wine education event where we get educated about wine. And so that. We'll be the VIP and package, wafting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the VIP package, uh, you can select, uh, you get a personal bottle of wine included in that and you choose uh whether you're you know if you're a girl that likes the white or the red you tell us and we're gonna we're gonna take care of you i love that and you know i love that ladies listen there's so many retreats out there there's so many women conferences out there and and i'm not saying all but there are many that it's you know you got the Instagram worthy photo booth. You got, you know, the location that looks amazing. But are you really doing the work on site? And I love mm -hmm. that she has life coaches, business coaches. So if you're able, you know, if you're thinking of starting a business or you already running a business and wanting to know information about that, like on site, you're able to come and do the work and actually leave with applicable um, tools and strategies in hand to grow, you know what I'm saying, in so many yeah. areas. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm really behind this. And I, I just love the idea of that. It's so beneficial and so needed. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Um, and the other part of, I just remembered, so part of the, the VIP package is that we're actually out of the, the retreat, we are starting a cohort. So um, it will be six weeks mm -hmm. of uh, group coaching as well that's part of the the vip package amazing. so yeah girl I, I mean i don't <laughs> listen i've been to some treats and i'm just like where they do that at but yeah. i love that that is i mean such a visionary i just i love that that is yeah. amazing uh, my, um like guys my we're gonna, say again, i'm just extra but hey <laughs> But it shows your heart because you're really wanting women to benefit out of this. Yes. So, you know, the value of this is thousands. Because think about it. If you're paying for a life yes. coach, then you're paying for a yes. business coach. You're paying for all of the things you're getting in this small price. Like, it's immeasurable right now at this point. It you is. know, it really and in a is. cohort that goes on even six weeks after. after. Mm -hmm. That's that's an amazing deal. It's an amazing deal. Um, you guys continue to put any questions that you have um, yes. in the chat. And as I see them, we'll pause and go to it. But I want to jump because I don't want us to hold us too, too long. Cool. But um, so when we talk about women's history, as I was saying, who are some women that come to mind for you that really you feel like have, has had an impact um, on the women you are today? Oh, well, I would say um, for me, so icon. Maya Angelou, um, yes. because I'm a poet and a writer. So um, I read, um, I know why the caged bird sings, I think when I was in third grade, something like that, yeah. and, and just yeah, fell in yeah. love with her. And I had been writing poetry since I can remember writing. Um, so uh, definitely Maya Angelou. Um, beyond that, uh, a little known woman, and she is still with us, um, Shirley, Dr. Shirley Jackson. Um, she's a physicist. Um, she's actually uh, the woman who's uh, partly responsible for these little things we carry around. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah. Okay, school us, school yeah. us. So I spent many years uh, after college. I went to work for AT and T, and she actually mm -hmm. worked for AT and T. Uh, at one point and was one of the people that was creating all of this amazing stuff that we use mm -hmm. today. Um, and most people don't know about her at all. So, but yeah. I was just, that's amazing. I was just seeing a a video today earlier where uh, it, was a, it was a white man who was talking about, and I can't remember if she was Cheryl West. Uh -huh. I don't fully remember the first name, but the last name was West. And she uh -huh is an African-American woman who is responsible. She's kind of like a hidden figure. You know, we had the movie Hidden uh, yes. Figures. She's kind of uh -huh. like another hidden figure who was uh, uh, largely responsible for our GPS system. What? She, okay. she knew how, yes, she knew how to calculate the algorithms by hand, See. right? 
uh -huh. and predict the computers because she she said she didn't like working with computers. She wanted to write it out and she would be able to predict the algorithms of the science of how gravity connects with like our roadmap system. I mean, that's just and <laughs> she said largely responsible for our GPS system. Yeah. And then when they asked her, they said that um they asked her um uh, Oh, whether she even uses the GPS system. And she says, oh, no, I like to use a roadmap to keep my brain sharp. I was like, <laughs> I, was I oh, just yes. love this woman already. Yes. Isn't it amazing? That is. Like, we're just doing so much yeah. that the world does not know about, you don't know? know? They don't know. And what's sad is about, we don't even know, right? Right. We right. don't even know. We have people, and she's still alive. We have people still alive on this earth that are geniuses. Yes. That, that, that you know, have done and are doing amazing about. things, right? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's true. I love that. Um, aside from this um, amazing retreat, mm -hmm. I want you to brag on yourself a little bit because we don't celebrate ourselves enough. What is, uh, give me, give me two ways you feel that you have made it history in your family or in your community? Okay. Oh, in my family or community, two ways I've made history. Um, let's see. Oh, that's, oh, and if it's hard you know, think, I'm not okay, that person. Like, I don't question. like to talk about myself. <laughs> I'd rather support my sisters and cheer them yeah. on. Um, let's see. Well, um, I will say, well, in my family, I was the first um, first one of my core family uh, to receive a degree, a four year degree. So, That's amazing! Yeah. Yes, well, congratulations! Yeah. And my That's sister just followed on right behind me. So yeah, I'm out of that, yeah, um, because of your example, I love that. Mm -hmm. um, and let's see, in my community. Um, I like to think of myself as a connector and a conduit. And so mm -hmm. as I kind of go through life, I see um, the women that I have touched just in small ways, whether it was somebody came mm -hmm. and asked me a question about something, right? Um, and I see them a year later and, oh, well, I took what you said and now I got my business, right? I'm doing this in my business, that type thing. So, um, y'all, really she's a business guru. I'm telling you, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. She'll tell you how you can hire her for that, but she's an amazing <laughs> business coach. Just, oh, yeah, Go just ahead. <laughs> you know, giving those little nuggets, um, to others. And I, I see myself as changing history. And I guess this is what history is, right? Is encouraging others to, to be their authentic selves and go beyond the status quo. Um, I like mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I typically stay in the background and, you know, just, hey, go do this, go do this. You got this. Um, but yeah, I love to see leader. others achieve. I really do. I love that. I love that. And that's why I wanted you to find something. And if you're watching, you know, find, think of ways, you know, so many times we are so critical of ourselves and we're very much like, I, should, I mean, my life isn't where I want it to be. Like, I should already have this done by now. I wish I could go back in time and do that. Yep. You know, we're just so hard on ourselves. And I'm speaking to myself as well. Mm -hmm. But we really have to stop and say, wait, but I did that. Right. I did exactly. That. Like, yeah. And again, it doesn't have to be, like you said, some big monumental, just like I'm an encourager of yes. people. You know, yes. I, you know, encourage people to chase their dreams, chase their goals, or mm -hmm. you know what? Like I manage my money really well. I'm really proud of myself because I, that was not taught to me in my family or yes. whatever I mean, what the win is, is big or small. We have to really, again, ponder on that, meditate on that and say, you know what? I'm celebrating that self, yes. that thing yeah. about myself, right? Yes, exactly. I'm making history in my own family and in my own community. I'm making a difference. I'm making a change, whether it's in your church, you know, a lot of us, you know, even I, I was just telling a friend like, you know, who hasn't had children yet. And I'm like, you're one of the best mamas I know because you don't have to have children to be a mother, but the way you look after other people's kids and you're always encouraging yes. other, other people's children, mm -hmm. you know, and being yeah. a, um, a conduit of need, like she'll be like, oh, well, let me get you some shoes or, oh, let me, mm -hmm. you know, it's just like, 
Yeah. That you're making history. Making to that history. child, you're making history. Yes. To that church, you're making history. Yes. You know, you were doing Planning something that seeds, only you can right? do. It's and we have to look seeds. at ourselves and celebrate mm -hmm. that. Oh, yeah. So. Definitely. Definitely. Ooh. Well, thank, thank you for that. All right. To get me to step out of myself and <laughs> pet myself a little bit. So I appreciate that. <laughs> Y'all, it's a storm and tornado watch going on. So our um <laughs> our yes. our internet is all you know acting up. But so that's a sign that we need to, we're gonna wrap it up because I don't want to hold our audience too long. Yes. But thank you everyone for tuning in. Don yes. Adams joining us again. Don, how can people reach you first via the retreat and then second as a business coach? Yeah. Okay, so uh, at the retreat, info at sisyougood.org, or you can just go to sisyougood.org, okay, online. And as a business coach, uh, you can email me directly at dawn at the training ground .us. That's dawn at the training ground .us. All right. I love it. You guys, let's get connected. Let's make things happen in our community, in our lives. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Angela with Fierce, Fearless Sisterhood. Continue to be a woman that other women can trust. Love you all. Have a great night. Thanks, Angela. Bye. Bye.